Do you ever wanted a game engine that's free, easy to use, scriptable in Python so you can make amazing 3D games for desktop? I'm making my own dream game engine and I just released a brand new version. My name is Guilherme and this is Cave Engine 0.97 Alpha in less than 5 minutes. First of all, we finally have the world's first Cave Engine game. It's called Sweet Shelter, made by Renato and it's inspired by Little Nightmares and Hansel the Gradle. Other people in this amazing community like Half is also doing a great job using Cave Engine and I'm very excited to see what you are gonna be able to make using the game engine. Now, let's start with the big features. The entire handler was rewritten from scratch. And why? Because now it's much more PBR accurate, easy to use and adjust and the best part, more lightweight. Yes, and we even added alpha blending and mist so you can make your game way cooler right now. Now, the editor's console is is way more useful as well because the Python prints and errors will gonna appear in the console and say goodbye to that old black window that used it to appear with the game engine. Animations got a lot of attention, starting by the fact that I addressed that weird fix in the previous video, and now it's possible to blend two different animations when changing the current one. Animations now have independent frames, and now it starts from the beginning, and the animation porter got improved as well. By the way, quick note, the game engine download link is in the description as my Discord server, and also a huge thanks to Harif, my world's first patron. If you want to support this project, see more updates and amazing new features to the, this game engine, please consider enjoying my patron. You'll be helping a lot and the link is in the description. So let's go back to the new releases. And talking about new stuff, folks, audio finally received some love. Now there is 3D sound support and you can access the audio instances being executed and do a lot of stuff with it using Python. You can pause, resume, change the volume, do 3D sounds again, everything you can expect. And of course, if you don't want to code, you can use the new native audio component as well to play amazing sounds in your world. Entity templates is working like a charm. Entity templates are something very special and important in the game engine. Let's say that you are making a platform game with multiple levels and a lot of the enemies spread across the map. How would you make the same players have an instance on every level? Level. Well, that's why we have entity templates. You can create a new template by right-clicking the asset browser and then assigning a selected object in the 3D view to it. It will store the entity structure and make it available to you so you can use anywhere you want. So it's just a matter of adding an empty where you want to spawn the template and select it in the entity settings menu. Editor tools. Well, remember that I said that I wanted to give more and more support to community made tools for the game engines. Well, now you're gonna start to see how and why. In the game engine folders, there's a subfolder called tools, and if you paste a Python script over there with a tool scripted in it, the game engine will automatically load that tool and make it available for you to use in your projects. And there's a default tool, which is a Python API, and I'm planning to extend this tool list with community made ones. So if you have a cool tool for cave engines, please let me know and I may add this to the game engine itself. And the list of new features goes on and on. We have a lot of stuff in the Python API, new methods, classes and stuff that you can do. Now you can even access the mesh and the material in real time and do some modifications as you want to. We have a new mouse look component, a bunch of new stuff in the documentation, including community showcase tab. The entity UI is completely new as with the new kit editor pop-up menu with a lot more control over your project. Cave Engine is getting Git friendly with a bunch of improvements in terms of the file system so you can use it with your friends or create a team project with no problem at all. Lots of usability, UI and UX design improvements, project management improvements and export game improvements as well. I'm gonna leave the full changelog list in the description but this was Cave Engine 0.97 and I'm very excited to see what you are gonna be able to do using this version. Again, the link to download the game engine, to join my Discord and become my patron if you want to is in the description and I really want to hear what do you think about this version. So leave a comment below and I see you in the next video.